Let's make sure we can get that beautiful handwriting in. There we go. So it's right as a product of factors that are irreducible over the rational numbers. All right, so first of all, we need to see if we can we factor this, all right? And whew, the best thing I would look at this is I, um, I would see whenever you're given um, you know, two terms, one thing you always want to look at is see if you can factor something out between them which here we can't, this is an x to the fourth and this is 16. So we can't factor anything out between them. Um, you know, I could add that 16 to their side, but I don't really know how to find, uh, you know, I mean, I can just figure out the fourth root, but they're not what they're asking us to do. What they're asking us to do is find a product of factors. So we need to write these as factors. So I need to look and say, well, can I write this as linear factors? And one thing I notice is I kind of have something that we'll call like a difference of two squares. I can rewrite this as x squared squared. The girl's soccer coach, please call the main office. The girl's soccer coach, please call the main office. Minus 4 squared. And so I have x squared squared minus 4 squared, which is a difference of two squares. And what that means is I can now write this as a pair of factors of x squared uh, minus 4 and x squared plus 4. And if you go and look at that, if I was to multiply those out, would I get the same? Well, yes. Uh, squared. x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. Negative 4 times 4 is six, negative 16. So good identifying, seeing it. OK, it's a difference of two squares. However, um, I don't know if it said right prior to factors. Would you like I'm, to read the paper? No, it's OK. Um, but what I'm saying is since these are irreducible, that means we can't reduce them any further. So it's so, x minus 2 times x minus 2 times x plus 2 times x plus 2. Well, let's see here. This, this would equal 0, right? Correct. Right? Because yes. we want to factor. So let's just, it doesn't really matter. It just says find it. It just says factor it. But either way. And let's just pretend it equals 0. So therefore, I wanted to say 0 equals x squared minus 4, and 0 equals x squared plus 4. And the reason why I'm setting it equals 0 because it might be harder to visually see how you can break these down. Because look, if you actually notice, this is another difference of two squares again. This is x plus 2 and x minus 2, right? So you already know that. And if you're on a video and you don't see that, I already know that this is x plus 2, and this is x minus 2. And the reason why is x squared minus 4 equals 0. You add the 4, you get x squared equals 4. Square root, x equals plus or minus 2. So those would be your two zeros. You could plug them in as factors. Right? Does that make sense? And then it says over the rational number. But we're not done yet. Okay. What, um, so that is for this one. Okay. But we haven't factored this one yet. It's the right? same thing. Be careful. Because it can't be the same thing, because x plus 2, x minus 2 gives you this. Mm -hmm. So oh, you have to x figure. x plus 2 and x plus 2. Well, but remember, x plus 2 times x plus 2 is going to give you a middle term. Only a difference of two squares cancels out the middle term. And I'll show you what we have. So we have x squared. So instead of trying to factor it in our head, let's set it equal to 0 and see what actually what our zeros are. So I subtract 4, I get x squared equals a negative 4, square root, x equals plus or minus 2i. So when writing it out as my factor of factors, x plus 2 times x minus 2 times x plus 2i, uh, 2x minus wouldn't it just be x plus 2i to x plus 2i? Or no? No, because remember, don't, did you see my work here? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It was um, x equals yeah, plus or this, minus 2i. Right, to 2i. Right, so those are your all zeros. And what I'm saying, irreducible, meaning you cannot reduce it anymore over any rational right. number. And these, this is it reduced. Right? Coach Gonzalez, the here, it's not reduced. You can still simplify this, and we could simplify that. 
So that's what they mean by irreducible. You cannot okay. reduce it. How do you put it over the rational numbers? You're not putting it over rational numbers. It, it just says, says, it over it says write as a product factors that are not reducible over the rational numbers. That means you cannot reduce it any further. Oh, okay. That's, that's pretty much all it's saying. 